Hello, my friend. It's time to exercise because without practicing your programming skill, you will never become a programmer. Soon you will hear what we want to create in this lecture. And I really would like you to do it on your own. Try it at least, you know, at least 10 to 30 minutes. Try to do the things that I will do in this lecture on your own. If you have problems, then of course watch this video. Even if you do the exercise on your own, try to watch and see how I did it. Compare it to your own code. Maybe you will learn something new, okay? So what's the problem? I would like to create a program that will ask the user for the number and we will compare the number to the secret number because we want the user to guess that number, okay? So our program will be called guess number. I think we should start the program from creating the secret number that the user will look for. Let's assign to it, for example, 40. And uh, now I think we should ask the user for the number. So we should use the input guess number. We'll ask the user for number, we'll change it into number using the integer cast and we'll save that guest number, I think, into the variable that we'll call guest number. As you can see, our variables are really self-descriptive, right? We can instantly see what they hold inside of it, right? That's really important because if we call it like that, oh, nah, you need to analyze what's here and here in order to know what's going on. Now, we instantly know what's going on, okay. And now uh, I think we should check if the guest number is equal to secret number. How to do it? I think we should use the conditional statement for that. So if the secret number is equal to the guest number, then we will show something like, congratulation, you guessed it. Otherwise, we'll send try again. Okay, it's my face like that. Let's run the module. When we type 40, as you can see, everything works fine. But the problem is that when we type the number like that, try again, and that's all. The user didn't have a second chance, right? It's almost impossible to guess a number uh, like that at the, at the first try, right? Because the number could be really big. <laughs> so how to improve that program? I think we should repeat these instructions again, like that. And then again, and then again. Do you think it's a good idea? Because I think it's not, <laughs> uh, at least not that way. Because we didn't know how many times, how many times the user will try to guess the number, right? So we should repeat these instructions here until he guesses the number, okay? So we should repeat. What does it mean? When you think about repetition, instantly you should think about loops. So I will type Y until this will be equal to this. So we should repeat these instructions unless these values are equal, like that. And now I think it will be great to include these instructions inside the loop while. So we need to use the space is the indentation here, right? Because otherwise this instruction wouldn't be connected to that while loop. That's how the Python works. And now when we run the module, as you can see, it's still not working fine. It's because the guest number doesn't exist yet in this line. I would like to remind you that interpreter runs the code from top to bottom. So when he meets that while loop, he doesn't know about the existence of the guest number variable because it was declared in this line. 
not not here or above. So we need to create it here and assign to it, for example, zero at start, something that will not be equal to the secret number. And because of that, our mo module will run without problems. Now, when we type, for example, 20, as you can see, it's something like try again, guess number 20, 10, 30, 50, 31, 40. Congratulations, you guessed it. And that's all. <laughs> so let's analyze that program. The secret number is at 40 at start, the guess number is zero. Is 40 not equal to secret number to zero? Yes, it's true. So it means that the loop while we execute instructions here. We ask for the number, we type 20, and because 20 is not equal to secret number, we do not show this message, but we type try again. And then because guess number, well, was not equal to the secret number. We have already checked it here, but the while loop check, we will check it again here. Uh, well, then we'll uh, execute these instructions again until the guess number will be equal to secret number, right? When they are equal, the loop will end by saying, congratulations, you guessed it. Great. I think we should improve this program now. You know why? Because, well, Guessing the number without any hints is just hard. Imagine the number is bigger like that. It's almost impossible to guess a number without any hints. So we could, for example, compare the secret number to the guessed number and give a hint to the user like, hey, it's a bit bigger or hey, it's a bit smaller, right? So let's say the secret number is bigger than the guess number and we will say it's a bit bigger. <laughs> Else if like that, it's a bit smaller. And otherwise, congratulations. Now when we run the program, guess the number. Okay, it's maybe 20. It's a bit bigger. Okay, it's bigger. 30, maybe 35. Hmm. 42. Oh, it's a bit smaller. Okay, so it's between 35 and 42. Hmm, 41. Hmm, 39. Okay, it's 40. That's how it works, right? Okay, that's what we did in that lecture. I hope you could manage to create a program like that on your own. Don't know what worry if you didn't, because uh, you are learning right now. If uh, uh, if you had watched the video without trying to make this exercise on your own, I think you should now close that video, stop watching videos for like 20 to 30 minutes, and try to do the same thing I did in this lecture on your own. It will really benefit you a lot. That's only a lesson. Thank you very much.